Welcome, everyone. I'm Alfred Lambermont Weber, and uh, it's a great pleasure once again to be here with Alberto Cogliani, who is going to bring us uh, once again his prophecy. Over to you, Alberto. Hello. Hello, and peace be with you. Welcome to my spiritual school the Academy of Talents, where I teach meditation, mantra, visualization techniques, breathing exercises, mysticism, esotericism, uh, divine alchemy. Today I will teach you, the, today is the first lesson, I will teach you the spiritual techniques to achieve uh, uh, spiritual enlightenment. Then I will read you some very important information, extremely important information. And then I will teach you about subtle bodies, chakras, states of consciousness, and quantities and channelers. And I will teach you about the mind. And I will teach you about the Agatha, Federation of Light, and Shambhala. So we start with the techniques to achieve spiritual enlightenment. And the first technique is the repetition of the chanting or the mantra Om Nama Shiva, Shivaya. This mantra is the most powerful mantra. My master achieved enlightenment with it. I achieved enlightenment with it. This uh, technique includes all the techniques. Repetition of mantra Autonomous Shivaya includes all the techniques, the breathing exercises, visualization techniques, meditation, everything. If you repeat Om Namah Shivaya, you chant it or repeat a loud voice three to five year, uh, hours a day for 10 years or more, you achieve enlightenment. It includes all the techniques because when you repeat it or you chant it, you are doing breathing exercises. And then after you chanted it, you enter meditation spontaneously. So this is the first technique, the mantra. The second technique is meditation. Meditation is the most important thing in life. Meditation. I have done 27,000 years of med uh, hours of meditation. Meditation is the key. You can, if you do mantra, you to enter meditation spontaneously. This is what I did. I used to do mantra for three hours and then I would enter meditation spontaneously for two hours. So meditation, you close your eyes, you, uh, cons you focus on uh, the face of a master like Jesus, Yogananda, Muktananda, Yitinityananda, or you concentrate on the breath, or you concentrate on the sky, or the absolute void, and that's meditation. Then you can do visualization, you can do breathing exercises, you breathe with your belly when you inspire, and then when you aspire, you repeat on Shivaya. These are the techniques that I did in my sadhana. So these are the techniques, very simple techniques, meditation, mantra, and visualization of the master. Now, these techniques open the chakras. Every man has seven subtle bodies, a physical body, etheric body, astral body, mental body, causal body, spiritual body, divine spiritual body. The first is the physical, the second is the etheric, is the middle prana, vital force. The third is the astral, is the, the body of emotions, which is uh, the dream state, we dream when we dream. The fourth uh, body is the mental body in the heart, the mind is in the heart, not in the brain. 
in the brain, there is your spirit in the lower brain, and the spirit of God in the upper brain. The fifth body is the causal body, which is your deep sleep. Then the sixth body is the spirit. It's in the eyebrows, between the eyebrows, in the head. And the seventh body is the divine body, the, the white pearl, the spark of God inside of you, which is in the upper part of the brain, in the state of consciousness of eternal bliss. My name, Nityananda, eternal bliss. So every chakra, every first chakra is the physical body, third chakra is the astral body dream, fourth chakra is the mind, fifth chakra is the, in the, at the throat is the causal body, the deep sleep, and then the spirit is ecstasy, and the divine spirit is eternal bliss in the head. These are the states of consciousness and the subtle bodies and the chakras. We do divine alchemy. We retransform the elements <coughs> into light. The five elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether, into the sixth element, the spirit, the light, blue light. I have seen my master made of blue light. We transform the five elements. The sound is the key to retransform the elements into light. Nama, Shiva, Ya, Om are the six elements. Earth, water, fire, air, ether, light, blue light. When you repeat Om Namah Shivaya millions of times, you transform your physical body into blue light. So these are the bodies, subtle bodies, the chakras, states of consciousness. The mind does not exist. The mind, which is in the heart, is a contraction of prana in the heart, does not exist. The world, the mind is a big lie, and the world, the universe, is a creation of the mind. When you absorb your mind into the causal body and the, in the spirit, the world dissolves, disappears. This is what I've done. In meditation, if you do meditation, you will achieve peace, which is God. But you also will understand what is real and what is not real. The world will disappear. When I look at something now, it disappears. It's empty. I have realized emptiness, like the Buddhists say. So emptiness is the reality of the universe, that it's empty, like the mind is empty. The mind does not exist. Inside the mind, there are three bodies beyond the mind, the causal in the trough and the spirit and the divine spirit in the head. So the practice of meditation has not been introduced in the West. This is a very big mistake of the Master of Shambhala. The knowledge of, of uh, subtle bodies has not been introduced in the West. It's another big mistake of the Master of Shambhala. <coughs> the mind <coughs> is to bring inside. Nobody does that in the West. You have to spend hours a day with your eyes closed, bringing the mind inside. The master of Shambhala, Shambhala, Agartha, and the Galati Federation. Shambhala is the place where the masters, the enlightened beings, live in the Himalayas, and in Tibet, in the Himalayas, the mountains. 
And Agartha is inside the planet where there are seven civilizations, the Lemurians, the Atlantideans, the Hyperboreans, and we from the future, which is called the Ashtar in the fourth dimension. So these are, this is Shambhala, and this is Agartha. And the Galactic Federation is the Federation of the Galaxy that is helping us. Now I will read some extremely important information. My information is fundamental at this time, and it must reach millions of people because it says that there can be no nuclear war, impossible. There can be no world war, impossible. There can be no new virus, impossible. The soul of planet Earth has said that it will no longer accept nuclear explosions or viruses on its body. Then we have a change into the timeline and we will enter the new age without apocalypse. All the negative prophecies of the past, like Nostradamus, are cancelled. There are three, then there are three million extraterrestrials incarnated on Earth to help humanity. Of these, 50,000 come from the solar system. Then a wave of love is about to arrive on Earth and it will subdue all negativities and it will establish heaven on Earth. The Christ is about to return to Earth. This time he will not use the body of Jesus, who has been now incarnated in Syria since the 60s. And he is keeping the situation under control in the Middle East. Jesus said that he will, he will show himself to the world in case of emergency. Then the forces of light have won on earth. We are saved, the light has won. And even if the forces of shadow do not accept the defeat and this year they will, they will try to distract as much as possible. The forces of light know their plans and will block them. And they are setting a trap to eliminate them. Humanity on this planet is about to make a, a leap of thousands of years and will do so in the next six to 10 years. In 2029, the ascension of the planet and the humanity will take place in the fifth dimension and it will take place, there will be a renaissance of consciousness. A renaissance of consciousness. We will all have our DNA reactivated to 12 strands and all 12 chakras open. We will make a tremendous leap technologically and spiritually. We will all be clairvoyant, spiritually enlightened, and we will have tremendous, enormous technologies such as teleportation, the cure of all diseases, rejuvenation of, of a body of 30 years, cloning of a body, Stargate, time machine, travel at the speed of light, transportation by magnetic fields. We will live 300 years. We will travel through the galaxy. We will live on Mars, Moon, Earth, Venus. We will have 12 planets. We will have replicators manifesting food and other things. We will no longer work. We will spend our days expressing our artistic talents as do extraterrestrials. So the planet Earth, which, already, which is already now one of the 12 the DNA libraries of the galaxy, will become the Florence of the 16th, of the, of the 15th century, of the, of the Renaissance, of the galaxy, the planet of the arts. The masters of Shambhala and the avatars, like Christ, will walk among us. We will be in contact with God. We will all be in contact with God. The planet will be made of ether, and our bodies will be made of solution and crystal. 
from 2029, there will never be any more. There will no more be negativity on Earth. No more wars, no diseases, no darkness, no suffering, no negative karma. We will all be incarnated <clears throat> in this body with 12 chakras open and all 12 DNA aliases activated. We will all be like gods walking in the body. This is the plan from Sirius. I come from Sirius. My master told me this. The plan from Sirius is to create, to have humanity of made of Christ. And we will all be entities, gods in physical body, like the original plan. And we will be in the Eden. Like the Bible talks about the Eden, we will have Eden on earth. So this is my prophecy. Now I will tell you about the uh, subtle bodies I told you, chakras I told you, the past of humanity I told you last time. So I told you many things last time. I spoke for 50 minutes. Today is shorter. I told you the, I taught you the techniques to achieve spiritual enlightenment. So you can title this, uh, Alfred, you can title this video, Alberto Cogliani, uh, Spiritual School uh, uh, Academy of Talent, First Lesson. Alberto Cogliani, Spiritual School Academy of Talent, First Lesson. So I told you about the subtle bodies, chakras, Mant I tell you the mantras. If you want to achieve enlightenment, you have to repeat Om Namah Shivaya a few hours a day for more than 10 years. I've done it and I've achieved enlightenment. If you repeat Om Namah Shivaya, you do all the techniques together. It's enough to achieve enlightenment. You can repeat it in a loud voice or chant it. Then if you want to eliminate negative energies, you repeat Sri Ram J Ram J J Ramon. Shri Ram, J Ram, J J Ram Om. Because Ram is the mantra that purifies the third body. And the third body is where the negativities attack you. So if you repeat on uh, Shri Ram, J Ram, J Ram Om, you purify your third chakra and negative energies cannot enter it anymore. So repeat Shri Ram, J Ram, J J Ram Om. When you eat the same, Shri Ram, J Ram, J Ram Om. When you wash yourself, the same. If so, it's the mantra that purifies. If you have a problem, you repeat Om Shri Ganapatena Ma. Om Shri Ganapatena Ma. If you're driving the car, Om Narayana Narayana Narayana. Uh, so these are the most important mantras. There are other mantras, of course. I chanted 10 mantras in my sadhana. There are many mantras. You can find on Namah Shivaya on YouTube. You can find Chiram Jaram Jaram on YouTube. And look and watch my videos on YouTube. Uh, Alberto Cogliani, the Divinity, the Divinity and Duomo. Alberto Cogliani, the New Era. Alberto Cogliani, Nityanan. Alberto Cogliani. Uh, there are 60 videos. You can contact me on Messenger. And we can create meditation groups like I have already in Italy. I have a school in Italy where I teach. And, and I have a few groups all over Italy where we do meditation together. So this is, I told you about chakras, meditation, mind, visualization, subtle bodies, Shambhala, Agartha. The mind, these are the most important things that I wanted to tell you. This is good. This is uh, it's important that we talk about these things. These are the most important things that I talk about. Of course, there are other things. But that I can tell you, we have seven, uh, we have seven lessons so I can tell you next time about the other things. 
these are the most important things. You are multidimensional. You are in this moment on many planets. Your spirit is projecting souls on many planets at the same time on many dimensions. You are multidimensional. You are in this moment on many planets in many dimensions. So the situation is that the light has won, the dark energies have lost. From next year, the world is in the hands of light energies. Light forces have the power completely. Now the channelers that I suggest you are Mike Quincy and Monique Mathieu and Bashar, Daryl Anka. These are the contacts, the channelers. And the contacts are Angie Bodan, Alex Collier, uh, the channelers also Barbara Marciniak. So Barbara Marciniak, Monique Mathieu, Mike Quincy. The contact is uh, Angie Bodan, Maurizio Cavallo, Alex Collier. There are very few contacts, real contacts, and channelers. So we will live like the extraterrestrials live now. We will live 100 years, 300 to 500 years like them. We will spend our days expressing our creative talents and we will live as enlightened beings and clairvoyants and Christs. This is the original plan of Sirius. Sirius, the solar system is the emanation of Sirius. Sirius has created us. Sirius, entities from Sirius have seeded Earth a million years ago. And now we are going back to the original plan from Sirius which is heaven, heaven on earth, Eden. This is the future of humanity. We will have the masters walking among us. We already now we have children, the crystal children that are enlightened at birth, crystal children. So humanity already now is made is ready to enter the new age. We shift in 2029. 2029, we enter fifth dimension, enlightenment, Christ consciousness. This is the second coming of Christ. The Christ consciousness will enter into one of us. Man is God. Every man is God in his seventh chakra the seventh body, the divine body, eternal bliss. So this is my lesson for today. I told you a few things. We have seven lessons, so I will tell you the rest in the next lesson. I think this is enough for today. Do the techniques and uh, you will achieve enlightenment like I have done. It took me 30 years. So I wish you all the best. God bless you all. Repeat always Om Namah Shivaya from the morning to the evening, a loud voice, and do two, three hours of meditation a day where you concentrate on one of the master's face, like Jesus or Yogananda, and you will achieve enlightenment. Peace be with you. Thank you very much, um, Alberto. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. And and we will publish and and uh, send this out. And we will see you next week at this time. Thank you. Thank you.